Hello, my friends. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, some of you, most of you that I'm doing this video for, got this fun little plastic bag of goodies. And you're probably like, what is that for? Well, what comes with this is me showing you how to use it. This is gonna be a virtual hand and foot treatment. We're gonna start with a foot treatment today, and I wanna show you some different ways that you can take care of yourself by taking care of your feet. So what I've done is I got a bowl of water, and um, it's got suds in it. You can put shampoo in there, you can put some hand soap. Just don't use things like, you know, antibacterial soap. Use something that smells good, um, that gives you joy. If you don't have that, you could use some essential oils. Put a couple drops in if you have that. And if you don't have that, you can go to trusty old tea bags. I have mint, I have green tea. If you have chamomile, you can put that in there. You wanna put something in there that has a bit of an aroma. Though you're not gonna smell a lot of it because you're kind of away from it, it just adds to the experience of taking care of yourself. And aroma is a really good thing for your brain. It helps to settle you and calm you. If you have an herb garden, you could throw some fresh rosemary or lavender sprigs or mint, um, depending on what you might have in the garden, if you do have that. So there's a lot of options to put in the water. But for now, I just did some sudsy water. And what I used was our very own Gerlique shower gel. And it suds as nicely. It's lemon geranium, clary sage. It smells so, so good. And I also have a matching hand lotion with that. I have um, lavender, I have citrus, all kinds of things. That's my shameless plug. So I'm gonna put my feet in the water and um, you know, have the water be pretty warm. And you wanna let that soak, your feet soak for a minute. I'm just using a big stainless steel bowl that I got a job lot for a dollar. If you have a more elegant bowl that you know, you're not gonna eat salad in, it might be a nice thing to do, but you can do whatever you want. And I just want you to put your feet in the water and I want you to use the opportunity to just take five deep breaths and try to do it however you feel comfortable doing that. The other thing I didn't mention before you do this is you might wanna get yourself a candle, light the candle. I have a nice cup of Earl Grey tea in one of my favorite Hey Rody mugs. Um, that my friends gave me over at PVD Monthly. You know, just come with the experience that this is gonna be more than just a foot soak. So as my feet are soaking, I'm just gonna just take some nice deep breaths. <sighs> and just feel your body settle down. And just notice what that feels like. It's probably the first time you've done that in a while. And uh, if you have the opportunity to have somebody else rub your feet for you, that would be great. That would be the best Mother's Day present. But if you don't, I'm gonna teach you how to do it yourself. So a couple things. Before you put your feet in the water, have a few towels on the ground because when you take your feet out, you wanna have a place to put your foot. You also wanna have a towel on your lap. You know, I tried to kind of dress up a little bit, although I'm noticing I'm all in black right now, but um, you know, Jammies are perfect, but I thought jammies on a video would be a little over the top, so I decided just to get a little bit more dressed up. So um, what you got in your bag is you got a little sugar scrub and you got a massage cream foot mask. These can be used interchangeably. They can be used on their own. They can be mixed together, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. You also received a golden block buffer, which is for the tops of your nails. Gina, my cousin pedicure extraordinaire, uh, taught me these many, many years ago, and this is kind of the retro batch I have left. You also got a foot file, I, I mean a nail file, but I'm gonna use it for both a foot file and a nail file. One side's very rough, one side's a little smoother. The smooth side will be for filing, and the rough side will be for exfoliating your feet. And you got a cuticle pusher. You also got some jojoba oil, which is great. And you got a hand cream and a lovely spray that's a mist for your hands and your feet. Yours are a little, but that's okay. So <clears throat> the hand cream, you either got lavender, citrus, or rose. So while your feet are soaking, you've done your breathing, everything's just glorious and you're just so happy. If you want to, you can dry off your feet. You could file the top of your nails. You could use your cuticle stick to um, you know, clean out underneath your toenails, push your cuticles back a bit. I'm not gonna do that because I'm guessing that you probably know how to do something like that. But, you know, spend some time doing that. That will take care of your, your toes nicely. I don't wanna show you how to cut your toenails. That's not my thing, I'm not very good at it. So I think it's better if you, you, uh, you figure that one out. So for the purpose of this, your feet are in the water and it feels really good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of scrub. So with my fingers or a spoon, you know, take, probably that's enough. 
If you want it to be not so messy, you can put a little bit of the cream with it or you could put a little of the oil with it. But my feet are pretty dry right now, so they need a good scrubbing. So I'm gonna put this. You'll see it's a little messy, so but it's got some oil in it. And all I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go over my foot. Now, if you have shorts on or a bathrobe, you could go up and do your whole leg with this and you'll get a nice exfoliant. But here, I want you to just really work the scrub in your feet. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. And you're gonna notice that your heels are probably a little dry, even though you haven't been walking barefoot outside in the beach, because we haven't been there, but you're gonna probably notice that. And what I want you to do is just think about things that you're grateful for while you're doing this. Don't focus so much on, oh, my feet are a mess, and the negatives. Think about the positive things, like, that you have feet, that's a good one. And that you have hands to rub scrub in your feet. How about that? And that somebody did something kind for you to take care of yourself, to do a self-care ritual. And I'm hoping that those somebodies are giving you the time that you need to be by yourself because we need some alone time too in the midst of this. Once you get that in and on, you can do a couple things. You could remove it if you want, or you can take the rough side of your file it's pretty obvious and start to scrub and you'll just do this in a way that makes you feel good all you're doing is you're getting rid of the dead skin you can go around your toes around the sides whatever feels good to you but you'll be amazed at how easy this is then when you're done you're gonna put your foot back in remove the scrub and feel how soft your foot is already it's incredible how much that works. I love that. Oh, it feels so good. I love that so much. And then what we're going to do is we're going to massage our other foot. I mean, we're going to massage that foot with the oil. So you got a jojoba oil and the jojoba oil is a base jojoba oil. What's wonderful about that is you could add some essential oil to it if you wanted to. So if you have something like in my case, I have lavender essential oil, you can add a couple drops of it. If you don't have it, that's fine. You can use the oil by itself. And all I want you to do here is <clears throat> dry your foot off. And I'm gonna show you just a nice little massage for your foot. So you get a generous amount. And I'm just gonna put the product on. Now here's the thing about foot massage. Foot massage is great when you do it yourself but you get to control how good something feels. This is the time that I want you to close your eyes and I want you to just put your thumb in those areas that are tight, go between your toes, and just enjoy the feeling of that, like waking your feet up. That's what you're doing here. It's not the same as having somebody else do it. I understand that. But at the same time, know that self-care is always in your own hands. You can do it whenever you want. And if you don't want to do all this, you can just take a bowl of water and soak your feet while you're watching TV or reading a book. Anything is possible. It could be just five minutes to do some self-care. <clears throat> so you massage your feet. And then when you're done with that, this is the fun part. You're going to take the mask and you're going to apply it. Again, you can add essential oil to this if you want all over your foot. Mm, oh my God, it feels so good. I feel like I'm on a cooking show, but it's like the foot show. And put it all over you. And then you're gonna take a nice dry towel. <clears throat> and you're gonna wrap your foot with it. And you're just gonna place this foot down. That's gonna stay there while you do the other foot. Now you've got a mask going on your foot here and you've got your other foot that you're gonna do. And when you're done with this foot, when you're done and this foot is masked, you're gonna move the water out of the way because you don't need it anymore. And you're gonna come back to this foot. So let's pretend this foot has the mask on it. That's down. You're gonna take this foot now and you're just gonna simply dry it off. Don't soak it again unless you can't stand grease on your foot, but because this will soak so nicely. 
And then what I want you to do when you're done with that is feel how great your feet feel. Oh my gosh, it's like I had a pedicure. And then you're gonna take your spray, which you either have, la I think everybody has lavender, and just give yourself a mist. Oh, I can smell it, it's so good. And then dry your foot, put a sock on, enjoy yourself, and just go on with your day. Isn't that great? Just a little self-care from Elaine White and I hope that you use the product because the best thing about having self-care products is to self-care yourself with them. Don't let them sit in a closet and say you're gonna do it later because as we all know, later may never come. So enjoy your day, take care of you, and happy, happy Mother's Day. Thank you for your time.